Hello friends and welcome to a new episode of Therese Way. In this Get Ready With Me, I am just going to give you my basic makeup routine. So let's go. Right now I am putting on my color corrector and I am patting it in. Gotta cover up those dark circles on my lids. We're using a brush to pat that in and now we're going over top of that with some concealer and using the same brush to tap that in pat that into my skin really really good as you can tell I've already gone through and did my eyebrows and now we're just going to keep the routine going so still patting it in and we're going to move on so once that's all pat in. I'm going to start with my transition shade for my eyeshadow and I got this palette from Target for like three dollars and I really like it. So just going in with that transition shade on both my lids and make my eyelids pop a little bit. So now I'm going in with my Another color, another shade, I can't remember what the name of it is. Covering up the entire lid. And then I'm also going to add a little shine to my eyelids in the center. Now once my eyeshadow is done, I'm going in with this gel eyeliner um, that I also found at Target and just going to line my lids really quick and I really like this liner. It goes on really nice and smooth and it gives you good coverage. So just lining my eyes before I move on to my mascara. I use this double ended mascara um, that I love, absolutely love, and it has a primer end and the actual mascara end as well. And the primer just helps the mascara to um, grab a hold to your lashes a lot better and it makes them look fuller. So I really like this mascara. And now on to lashes. Got to get those good lashes on there, girl. And I use really inexpensive lashes by Kiss. And I use the Wispy lashes. And they are just my favorite. So lashes done. Eyes done. Brows done. And now it's time to move on to the face. So now I am adding on some color corrector underneath my eyes. The older I get, the more I need to cover up those little dark patches on my face. And color corrector, you gotta have it if you wanna get rid of those dark spots. So there you have it. So I'm just patting that in with that same brush that I used on my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in um, with concealer. Now I don't wear foundation every day because it's not necessary. It's not anything that I need on a daily basis. So I just usually use color corrector and then go in with my concealer just to highlight my face a bit. And now I have my um, Real Techniques sponge. It is now damp and I'm just going in and just patting that into my skin. And I love the way that the sponge makes your face look. It just makes it look nice and flawless and yeah so keep patting that into my skin before I move on so 
So now I'm gonna go in and take my color corrector and just go around my mouth. Once again, just covering up any dark spots and I'm going to take my concealer and go on top of that as well and just to highlight the areas around my mouth so it doesn't look as dark. And after I cover my mouth, I'm going to do the bridge of my nose, um, my chin, and the middle of my forehead. And now I'm going to take my e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm going to set under my eyes. I really like this powder. It's really light. Um, it's not heavy and it gets the job done and it just adds a great... Um, brilliance to my face and now I'm going in with my contour highlighting contouring those cheekbones chisel that face out girl yes now we're gonna blend it in blend it in and then I'm going to take my same that same contour and contour my nose and slim that out a little bit I'm taking my fluffy brush and just sweeping away that setting powder and as you can tell it just leaves my face just looking really nice and bright and now I'm taking some baby pink blush and I'm putting that on the apples of my cheek and going up towards my hairline and now I'm taking my highlighter and getting those cheeks around my temples of my head and of course you got to get your nose the widow's peak to finish off the highlight look now that I have finished my face I'm going to go in on my bottom waterline and use that same gel eyeliner and applied to my waterline and I really like this um, liner as I stated before and there you have it now my face is pretty much done and now we are moving on and we're going to set that with some setting spray also by elf and get to the lips now this lips that I'm using is a lip stain by lip sense I don't know the color offhand but um, let me tell you lip sense it is the truth it stays on, it doesn't go anywhere, and you can do anything absolutely all day. It stays there, and yeah, I really love this color. So if you don't know about lip scents, go and check them out. And now I'm just going back over my lashes with to finish it up with some more mascara. And I'm going to put on some lip gloss, and there you have it. So I hope you like this look.